poof, look what I got here again. Lot of boxes, and may you recognize the logo. This is from the Haas guys, you know, who, who is dealing with the uh, really professional CNC machines and whatever, and lates and uh, really crazy stuff. So, so now they are running this Black Friday sales, and I never believe these Black Friday things because money companies, you know, they just. Uh, <laughs> And I don't know why it's called Black and why it's called Friday, because those companies are running those uh, sales until, I don't know, like uh, uh, two months or something, even after January. If you have a time now and you're interested on these kind of things, you must check out the, the Haas website, because let me tell you, I got here almost everything, like, <clears throat> I don't want to lie or something, but about 50%, uh, half the price. So first item, so what is this? This is a really nice uh, set of uh, wise uh, parallels and this is metric. So this, for example, this pair is uh, 100 millimeter by four by 38 millimeter. So uh, I was really interested uh, on the, what quality I will get from the Haas uh, CNC company. And look what we got. Uh, ah, this is a warranty, which is saying it's a standard one year guarantee. Okay, next box. Yeah, so this is a precision machined V block. This one is the pair what I can hold to the working table by this uh, surface here or by this hole. Most of the V blocks are not made on this way, okay? So <laughs> I don't understand these sizes. So it's 101 millimeter by 65 by 39 millimeter. Eh? Uh, next one. What is this? Eh. Very lovely thingy. It was so cheap, <laughs> I couldn't resist. Eh? So this is a really a standard uh, magnetic uh, based um, mm, uh, dial indicator holder. With this arm, you also get together the fine adjustment pivot head, okay? So you don't have to touch your dial indicator, it's enough if you're doing here. And, and it's a really nice uh, spring here. So let me check um, how it's holding, because this definitely has some really big uh, joints. Eh? It's, it's not like a Mitutoyo joint, definitely not the same um, quality by the touch, but you know what, uh, for this price, uh, <laughs> maybe you can get uh, something knockoff on uh, eBay or from uh, Temu. <laughs> what is this website? <laughs> something like this. So this is definitely uh, much more higher quality than uh, this average uh, Chinese uh, knockoffs. And um, let me tell you, if I fix it here, now I just, yeah, it looks to me, oh, oh, definitely, it will hold the... Uh, the dial indicator. So I'm really happy with this one because it was cost almost nothing eh, compared to uh, my uh, Mitutoyo uh, magnetic stand. Now, next box, see? Yeah, it's other kind of uh, parallel. Come on, it's heavy. Eh? <laughs> so this one is for big air wise, yeah? So this is 150 millimeter, yeah, more or less. The, the machining is precise enough if I, if I squeeze them together like a gauge block, yeah? Look at this, so the air cannot enter between the two. So very nice uh, quality, I guess. You know, guys, I really like to watch the videos from <laughs> Ambom79 and this old Tony and, you know, all, all these kind of uh, guys and Stefan. Uh, so they have really lovely, very small um, hand tools. Eh? So this is a really nice uh, set. And each one... So, oh, so this one is the SEA. Now look at this. Look at the amount. And it was dirty cheap, yeah? It was super, super dirty cheap. Let me show you a little bit closer. Maybe you can see. But definitely has a zillion of... Look, we have even more here, yeah? Definitely has a zillion of <laughs> thread gauge. Look at this. Look at the mount. Very nice set, I guess. 
is other kind of uh, pitch gauge because this one is imperial and uh, I don't remember the price but it was again like a nothing point is I guess it's okay so I don't feel any burn on it or rust nothing it's a it's a really nice uh, but cheap um, uh, gauge set eh? so the next one is something similar because I always have a problem with the big threads on you know on pipes and and special uh, connectors uh, so that for that you need this type of measurement block so you attach it uh, to the thread yeah so this uh, small rods you attach it to the thread from both of the sides and then you can measure with your micrometer and then from a book or, or a, a data table you can uh, figure out um, the exact diameter and the pitch and um, whatever of, of, the, of the thread yeah uh, this will help me to measure exactly these uh, dimensions from 3 to 48 TPI, okay? So this is a 48 piece of uh, measuring uh, gauge pins, really nice set. What is this? Ah, it's a deburring tool. Yay, look at this. I was always jealous. <laughs> when I saw uh, Album 79, he's always uh, using this kind of tools to deburr uh, his uh, bores and uh, holes and uh, parts and whatnot. Uh, so this one, uh, it was like four euro or seven euro or something like this. Yeah? And we, if I'm lucky, yeah, I'm lucky. We have here a compartment where I can uh, store some of these uh, extra bits. Yeah? It's, a, it's a really nice set for, for this amount of money. Ooh, and really sharp, oh my God. Yeah, this is definitely super sharp. Let me try out on, uh, <laughs> on this one. Eh? Oh, guys, this is cutting. Oh my God. No, look at this. Now I just deburred uh, this broken uh, uh, edge. Yeah. Okay, you know, guys, it's so hard to find <laughs> one, two, three blocks <laughs> on the internet, which is metric. Believe me, it's uh, super rare and most of the case they're super expensive. But this one was uh, super cheap. I guess the quality is okay. Maybe the, the edges are not so fine, but the surface is definitely uh, grinded. Probably from this one I will order uh, more. Uh, now I ordered only one pair or two pair because I really just uh, want to check them out uh, about the precision and, uh, and everything. So. Uh, later on in this week, of course, I will measure all of them. So this is a 25 by 50 by 75 millimeter uh, one, two, three block. So this one, it's a really nice uh, sharpening stone. I guess uh, the surfaces are uh, grinded uh, to a precision. Uh, yeah, visually looks like, but uh, the sides are not really. So the red uh, side is 1,500 grid and the blue is 500. So from that, I ordered two. Uh, the other one is a much more smaller, it's just like uh, almost a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, really nice, uh, very small stone. So let me jump to the <laughs> main products. So that was the reason why I really uh, made this order from the house, because I'm really, really interested on their metrology tools. Because let's be honest, guys, um, uh, <laughs> Uh, I have a couple of uh, Mitu Toyo tools, now I'm just hunting them on a second hand market and uh, believe me, it's, it's a little bit expensive so um, I look for something on a market what I can trust, it has a good quality but it's, I don't have to break into my uh, bank so that's uh, why I went to the Haas website and um, I, I ordered those ones. Now look at this baby. Oh my God. So let me... Yeah, the, the quality is... Yeah, it's definitely not uh, me to tell you. Let me tell you, I already feel it. The sliding is... Yeah, it, it needs a little bit of work. So I guess I, I will polish uh, this part here or maybe I just have to clean it. I don't know yet. But definitely... This is not sliding really nicely like uh, my other uh, Mitu Toyo uh, calipers. 
Yeah, definitely not the same feeling. Um, so this one is a um, 12 inch, 300 millimeter long. So the, the resolution of course is one hundredth of millimeter, yeah. This looks, uh, definitely looks like uh, individual measurements, it's not just a uh, printed whatever. So Mr. David, this is his name, he measured uh, this caliper and we have some kind of deviation. So let's say on 100 millimeter we have one hundredths on a negative. And then after 200 we have again a minus one hundredths of millimeter. But then from 200 to 281 we have a positive 100. So in average we are in the precision which is uh, said by the website is uh, the precision level it's uh, 100 of millimeter plus minus on full range. So what tools I, I got uh, with this one? Oh, it's doing something, okay. So I just have to pull it out. Ah, now I understand, okay. So this is where I have to use this very small mm, screws. So yeah, it's uh, <laughs> Definitely not uh, Mitu Toyo. The Mitu Toyo battery uh, compartment is much more uh, uh, smarter than this one, so now I have to. And of course this uh, screwdriver is not magnetic, so... Nah, guys, uh, <laughs> I think uh, this is a joke, yeah? Let me push it together completely, so... One, two, three... Then, bang! So this is definitely not the um, same quality like a Mitu Toyo, I can feel it. But I guess it just needs a really nice uh, cleaning. But of course it's not the same price. Uh, a 300 millimeter mm, <laughs> Mitu Toyo caliper, it's, it costs like a second hand car in Germany. <laughs> but why i really interested on this caliper is this sign here, which is saying this is an IP67 caliper, so I will have no problem to use this one with all of my coolants and with the VD40 uh, and all these uh, crazy stuffs around my CNC machine. So you just open the door, you have a look inside, you don't have to clean nothing, you just uh, poke inside with all the fluids inside, boom, you do a measurements and then uh, you lock it and you read it. Again a caliper, now this is a small boy, this is only 150 millimeter. Yeah, <laughs> it's different than uh, the big boy, the 300 millimeter. Now it's interesting the... Ah, okay. So now we didn't get uh, the lock on the front. And the footprint is also different. I don't know why they did this one. So yeah, so this, this box is completely different from the 300 millimeter. Let me check the average quality again. And nicely they give you two battery, not only one like... Uh, Mitu Toyo does. <laughs> By the way, if you n don't know, this is a special uh, package. This is called the VCI paper. Mitu Toyo also using in uh, the metrology tools. So this paper has a very special chemical inside which will uh, stop any oxidation on uh, on this uh, kind of alloys what they're using to make uh, these metrology tools. Yeah, so the 150, it's moving much more smoothly. It's almost smooth like the Mitu Toyo. Okay, so let me close just really slightly. Okay, we get it. And let me roll it with the thumb roller. Yeah, this one, yeah, this is not so fine. So what I will do, I think I will open this plastic, I will take out this uh, roller thingy and I think I will run a little bit polishing on it and also on this surface. Uh, let me see, you know what, maybe after uh, the cleaning it will change. Yeah, but I already see scratches on it, yeah? So, yeah, it's definitely again not uh, Mitu Toyo quality. And the plastic part, yeah, it's free plastic. It's it has really sharp edges. Okay, so uh, this 150 millimeter caliper is it's somehow is uh, a little bit better quality by the touch and by the feel than the, the 300 millimeter. Definitely, I feel some differences. And this one is moving always on minus one hundredth of the millimeter, which is a good thing. It's definitely better than the other one. This one it's a little bit flimsy. Yeah, maybe you can hear it. 
you can see here I have a lot of space to drop this uh, Teflon tape under it so then this um, depth gauge will not uh, flimsy, flimsy anymore. Eh? So, okay, I, I guess uh, this will be okay with a little bit of polishing and I have to run through with this uh, precision uh, uh, stone a little bit on, on some edges here, definitely don't, not, no, here I don't want, I want it uh, really sharp and uh, then it will be okay. And it's again IP67 rated and uh, it costs like nothing, I'm telling you, like nothing, I paid for it uh, nothing. This caliper is different, it's not digital, of course this is analog and it's a very <laughs> lovely, very small, beautiful dial caliper. Okay, so, and this was dirty chip, um, uh, dirty, dirty chip, it's not, not beauty, look at this, how small is this? So this is a 100 millimeter analog dial caliper, so the glass is, I'm not sure if it's glass even, I hope it's glass, it's not beauty, <laughs> it don't need the battery, it don't need nothing, I, I, I guess it's, even, you know what, I have a feeling it's made by some other uh, production facility or maybe some uh, other company. But so this is a Haas tool again and it's uh, everything is stainless steel. So this one is again uh, rust and fluid and oxidation proof whatever. So stainless steel hardened. I have a roller? No. No, I don't have roller. Look at this. So <laughs> this is just a cheap imitation of roller. Oh my God. When I saw the picture, I, I thought uh, maybe this one is a roller, but no, it has no shaft. So this is only just a imitation of a roller. Let me open this screw completely and let's see how it's moving. Yeah, uh, it's a little bit harsh at the moment. Yeah, before cleaning. So each division it's two hundredths of the millimeter. When I'm working with wood, you know, we don't need uh, this uh, micrometer precision. So definitely this will be my favorite tool around the wood uh, CNC's. You know what, maybe I will get the full set. Of course the 100, the 150, the 200, even 250 and the 300 millimeter uh, dial uh, caliper. Really nice one, I really like this one. Let's continue with dial. This one is a dial indicator. Again, was dirty chip, and this is going only up to one hundredth of millimeter. So this is not a micrometer precision uh, dial. Oh, wow, guys! No, this is now this is smooth. Like it has seven jewels. As saying, it's again shockproof mechanism. So, yeah, and it's and it's super fast. So, how I can do? Okay, uh, okay. So this one, I, oh, nice. Okay. So definitely the shaft. Mm, it's uh, precision grinded, I guess. Yeah, it is grinded. It's not only this cycle. Yeah, I feel it. It's it's grinded, and. Um, I see a very tiny small brush insert here so where the, the shaft is running inside, yeah? It's like a very, very thin wall uh, brush or even, you know what? I think it's even not an insert. It's maybe it's just, you know, the chemically or something on some electroplating method, they, they put this brush uh, surface inside. It's oiled with fine oil a little bit. Mm, I don't see here this uh, brush is that is really interesting. I only see it only here. So I can replace the tip. No, or maybe I need a little bit bigger force. This will be a really handy tool. Again, I choose this one for mostly for wood and uh, plastic machining. Yeah, this one is a precision dial indicator. This one got a completely different calibration. Now look at this. Yeah. So who made this one? Tested by C15. I don't know who is C15. It has a really nice English name. So Mr. C15 made this calibration 
and we can say we under one micrometer of deviation which is good because originally this uh, dial indicator is made up to two thousands of a millimeter yeah so some wires for some reason has at the moment they don't have a micrometer uh, precision fine uh, uh, dial indicators as me tutorial has and um, the um, Starrett also has, so uh, I guess um, Haas has to work a little bit more on a precision. Uh, so this was the finest uh, mechanical dial indicator, yeah, which is a test indicator. So sorry. So on this precision level, we already can talk about test indicators. So the tip is rubai precision grinded, all of this and. It's feel a little bit dirty. Of course, I have to clean it. All of them. This has um, at least uh, seven jewel again, and it's super super sensitive. Yeah, it's two thousands of millimeter precision, uh, and it was cheap. Of course, for the metal machining, yeah, you will get a completely different metrology tools from me to Toyo. Yeah, a complete set. This has uh, metrology tools. I guess it's. Also good for the hobby level, like uh, myself. Uh, I'm not doing here the, the machining on a professional level. Uh, my profession is uh, completely different. You know, I'm working on on construction. Uh, so I, I guess this uh, has metrology tools that are good enough for for the, the hobbyist or let's say the advanced the hobbyist. Now this one, now you will see the difference. Okay, so this one is only one hundredth of millimeter precision. So same like uh, this big uh, dial indicator, but this one has again uh, the spring loaded tip, and this one, you can see, it has the millimeter range small dial. So, so this one just coming with the standard. Um, Factory calibration or tolerance. Yeah, this is not calibrated. Mm. But we have the, the cosinus uh, error table, nice touch, because this is a really, really important uh, data. So if you want to do exact measurement with this kind of uh, test indicator, why? Because as uh, your tip is moving up and down, yeah, it's mostly down. Uh, then of course it's changing the angle. So as the angle is changing, of course the distance, uh, so the um, uh, so the the triangle distance is changing. So it always gets shorter. Okay. So this is why it's important to know this uh, cosine uh, correction factor. Yeah, right out of the box. This one has only two V block to hold it. So only on the front and only on the back. This one was again dirty cheap. Man, this is not uh, so precise. What the big difference between this one and the previous one? This one is uh, centralized. So it's meaning it has uh, operation range positive, okay? And operation range negative. So that's why we have here this uh, small uh, dial, yeah? Which is showing you the direction, yeah? So now you can get it, yeah? I, I think uh, this one is not javeled, but this is shock uh, proof, yeah? So it has a range, plus minus 1.6 millimeter. I don't know, in, in inches. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So the next item is um, a spatial holder for my test uh, indicators. So this one I can drop it into the spindle, yeah? So with this one, I can measure the, the parallel, uh, sorry, the perpendicular uh, check of my uh, spindle on the CNC. So I can drop here the, the test indicator, yeah? And I just have to turn it around and around and around, and so I can see if there is any deviation um, from the 90 degree, how uh, Abom79 is doing on his really beautiful videos. So this is um, a dirty cheap um, holder by average quality. I guess it's okay for the price. It's very okay. So what I will do immediately, this for sure, I will drop here uh, a different material because this one 
it's really crusty okay so this yeah it, it's punched so it has a, a burr and this is what i feel so when i insert this one until now it's feel good but at the moment when i drop this one in it yeah uh, it's get immediately this chinese feeling so it's it's, it's not smooth anymore so my first job with this one of course i will machine a brush uh, insert under under the the screw okay and uh, then i guess uh, this will be a very fine uh, uh, dial indicator holder yeah i don't speak against um, nobody but i also don't speak on the side of the house this uh, i purchased all of this uh, from my own money because i couldn't uh, resist <laughs> for this uh, black friday sales eh? so now all these boxes what you can see here it's all of them a uh, digital micrometer 0 to 25 millimeter 25 to 50 millimeter 50 to 75 millimeter 75 to 100 millimeter 100 to 125 and 125 to 150 aka from 0 to 1 inch to up to 6 inch digital micrometers in a micrometer precision range i got all of this on the same price where i can buy only one one piece of mitutoyo digital micrometer is it make sense i guess so so this was the main <laughs> attraction of my uh, <laughs> purchase order from the Haas website so what we will do we will open the small one maybe the middle one and uh, and uh, and the big boy i don't know how this is uh, working with the with the digital caliper no it's not so i don't get it so really um Haas, <laughs> what's going on here <laughs> Or maybe they have more other tools which is same but definitely this is not uh, no is 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 not why why we don't have one more roll row or multiple rows i don't know so oh my god look the size of this battery yeah <laughs> i already see <laughs> the difference between this and uh, let's say a uh, mitutoyo digital uh, micrometer so the, the the rating went down from 67 to 65 so this is the first uh, what i see difference oh oh guys okay yeah this is kind of nice so this plastic is definitely much more finer than uh, the digital calipers so let me go a little bit uh, closer Maybe you can see yeah so this is the digital micrometer oh i already don't like uh, something about them so the shaft is is turning so maybe yeah i guess i use the uh, much more higher quality and much more higher precision from the it was some german uh, micrometer but when i turned the this one the shaft doesn't turn okay i guess the click is okay so the click is Click is really nice. Look at this. We have a USB port for some reason. Battery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this one is a gigantic battery. I guess this is the same um, size what my so uh, my welding helmet has inside. Yeah. Yeah. So somebody already played with that one definitely, and they damaged this uh, plastic uh, compartment. You can see here, but it's damaged already so let me insert it probably with this tool i don't know why they didn't use the the right tool for it so this direction it's opening so let me see this ip65 yeah so there is this uh, rubber ring all around the battery compartment and let me tell you this side is already out of uh, um, now you can see this edge is already damaged a little bit so i don't know who was inside and i don't know who did what uh, probably the guy who made um, the certification or the testing no 
So how is going in? So this go here first, okay. Then I just look. So that's what I told you, yeah. Look, uh, this uh, isolation rubber ringy thingy here. Yeah, it's already uh, already damaged. So possibly I just have to really tricky with this one. Like maybe like this. Then it will go back. Fortunately, yeah. Something like this. Ah, okay. So we have uh, we have to do something similar, basic setup. So let me close them. Will so now this is zero zero. But what I don't like about this zero, uh, the mechanical zero is not on zero already, and it doesn't have the the quick. Um, yeah, it's it's slow a little bit. So definitely is take forever <laughs> to turn uh, the anvil back uh, to zero. So I hope uh, we will get the mechanical zero also zero. No, we not. I don't know, but you can see. So you have to watch this zero line with the other zero line and it's not lining up perfectly. So definitely I have to do adjustment somewhere. So I don't know who made the certification, but he made a mistake. So this one has the data output, which is a normal serial interface. So I already thinking on it, how <laughs> I can integrate this one to the UCCNC controller software. Hmm, I saw there some serial uh, plugin or something. Okay, so this is nice. I, you know what, I already doesn't like so much the display, it's so small. Um, and uh, so the LCD is, uh, from this angle, uh, I see like a ghosting, a really big ghosting. I, I guess uh, I know what's the problem. I think the problem is uh, there is too much di uh, distance between the protection glass and between the LCD screen itself. But anyway, let me see the speed. So I don't know, it's always locking. I didn't log nothing, yeah? Yeah, definitely I need to clean it. But definitely, we're not going back to zero. So now it's zero. Let's go back again. Now it's minus four. Uh, you know what, guys? I'm not so happy with this uh, digital micrometer. I don't know why we are going... Uh... Yeah, so mechanically we are moving also. So now it's zero. No, this one, so the mechanic barrel, the scale is showing me zero, but the digital is showing me two or minus. And I, I guess it's it's depend on the speed, yeah? So let me try to make a bigger error. So looks to me, uh, maybe it's uh, the sensor is too slow inside or something, something. I don't know, maybe. They used as a demo device and somebody really turned this one so hard, I don't know. And probably I will take it to the part because I I really don't like how this is turning. I'm 100% sure this was some demo unit or something. Yeah, can be. Can be anytime. You know, those companies has um, hundreds of um, exhibitions and events. So look at this now. So now we went back to minus 14. So something is definitely not good with this uh, micrometer and this one moved yeah this is definitely moved so now we on ah uh, yeah guys uh, something is not uh, good with this one anyway i guess i can fix it if not uh, this video will show the us guys uh, uh, the the problem of uh, of this uh, micrometer and uh, next thing what i doesn't like really is how this brake is working it's so the the handle it's plastic, yeah, and it's really flimsy, flimsy, and it's and it's doing nothing until the last, very very last uh, moment, yeah. Uh, I don't feel this one precise enough. I hope I can fix it. I can clean it. I can uh, revisit uh, what's going on inside in a barrel. Probably somebody touched something. Can be, you know. Uh, if not, uh, I will send it back. Mm. 
And you know, I'm not so satisfied with this one, eh? Yeah, this coin cell should go back. And this is much more smaller, eh? <laughs> it's not, look, look at this. Has, please. Uh, revisit your box uh, maker team, yeah? Because the battery cell is not going back into this small hole. So maybe I have to do a machining here with my CNC machine, yeah? Maybe. This is the homework? No, this one has again a different box. Uh, really, I got confused. So, it's not, not like this. This one is a different box. Uh, look, the style completely different. Uh, this one is different from that one. Look, look at this. Even the color and the material is different. This one, again different from this one. Uh, us, please. <laughs> you know what? I have a feeling uh, some uh, small uh, subcontractors or some sub, 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 I don't know, suppliers are working with and for us. Even the, the print quality is different. So this logo here, it's really smooth and really fine. And this one, it's really rough. I will send this video to the Haas, no worries. So, this box is different. Of course, the batteries are not going to nowhere, yeah? There is no place for the batteries at all. And who made the calibration? So, can, no, guys, no way. This David is, uh, all the day is just doing calibration. Cannot be. So, <laughs> the, in the inspector saying, we are on minus uh, two thousands of millimeter, which is, I think, is out of the range. Uh, this one has to be one thousand of millimeter plus minus. Uh, so minus two and plus one is altogether. It's three thousands of millimeter. Of course, it's depending on the gauge block what they used it and uh, humidity and uh, yeah temperature blah 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 whatnot we have the same usb serial output the the brake now this brake it's yeah so you see now already i i see here some differences so this brake is operating only like 20 degree maybe you can see yeah so this one is just moving like 20 degree something like this and on the end, it's smooth, so I can do partially break, like with the Mitu Toyo. Yeah, so, okay, this is moving much more smoother than the other one. But unfortunately, again, the mechanical barrier zero uh, indicator is not going to the zero line, so even with this one, I have to, to play a little bit. So let's open the compartment. Nobody was inside. So this uh, insulation uh, rubber ring is perfect condition, not like the other one, so it's not damaged. Yeah, this one, I don't know, I don't see surface hardening. So I don't see the, the surface has different color than the side of the shaft. Uh, I, I think it's just machined uh, to the precision and yeah they did the uh, grinding on the end uh, I guess I will check this one with the uh, with my Mitu Toyo gauge okay tomorrow so um but this is what is came with the uh, with the micrometer so what we have to do now so this is the maximum and the best what I can do and uh, now we have the 75 millimeter okay inside and now we have to do the zero bam and it's saying 75 so the barrier zero is so way out from the zero line it just cannot be this one went through some certification and no it's impossible so again the function is completely the same like the small one and it has an IP65 rating, and again, it's cheaper than any any uh, option on the market, which which has a close uh, quality like this one. 
where this battery is going. Oh, they forgot to, they did a cut. They just for, <laughs> they just forgot to, to remove it. Oh my God. So this one is definitely in better condition than the small one. So this one doesn't have an issue with the brake. And this one doesn't have an issue with so much differences. It's always come back to this minus two micron uh, error, which is meaning I can adjust this one mechanically, no problem. But I think for the price, we got a good uh, uh, micrometer and with a lot of extra battery, which cannot go into the box. <laughs> no, 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 look at this. So now this box got this uh, function. No, because you look, that's what I'm talking about. Why we don't have these points? No, it's not going. No, no, not like this. Maybe like this. Uh, no, it's nothing. <laughs> I don't get it really. Uh, guys in a house and look the, the quality and the box and the logo again different. Oh, look at this. So this box, it's a little bit more angular shape. This is really roundy. This one feel like uh, uh, a smooth uh, plastic texture. And this one more feel like the Mitotoyo boxes. I'm not joking, but <laughs> the height is different. The, the side is so close well, I don't know why they not uh, used this only, this type of box for this one too. Uh, why not? Look how small is the difference. It's just, it don't make sense at all. Like, why? Anyway, let me open it, yeah? So this one, <laughs> it came in a different box. Calibration, let me show the calibration. Certification, blah, 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 blah. If I'm using this one in an increment mode, after I uh, zero in out on some precision gauge, then I will get a really good, really good measurements. So this one is going on minus two thousands, minus three, minus two, minus three, minus two. But all of them are minus, and all of all of them are really close to each other. Yeah. So or maybe the paint is different. Yeah, it's feel different. Oh my God! No, guys, again, somebody was. <laughs> Maybe the guy who is working at the calibration, David, David, please. This guy, here, yeah, yeah, okay, so this is the name. David, please, don't uh, fuck up the battery compartment. This one is already damaged. Look at this. Uh, you can see, uh, I hope you can focus. Focus you, Sony. Uh, you can see, yeah. So this one is also damaged. Let me check the, um, the ring. Yeah, I see some issue. Yeah, this thing is damaged again here on a corner. Now this battery compartment is a different one. This one has a thread on it with um, a 45 degree angle. I guess this is a completely different uh, micrometer. Buttons are different. The arrangement is different. Looks like uh, the screen is also different. The battery compartment is also different. The size of the battery is different. This is a normal CR 2032. But at least this one I can buy it on the <laughs> gas station. Eh? No, guys, this is super feeling cheap. It even has burr on it. So the molding. Ah, so this is what damaged the. Um, now I understand. Okay, so it was a piece of plastic on which like a one millimeter piece of plastic just just sticked out. And I, I guess this is what damaged the this uh, rubber ring here. And I don't feel, no, definitely they didn't apply the, any silicone fat on it or something like uh, Mitutoyo does every time. Yeah. No, I'm not stupid. I'm not turning clockwise. I'm just, you know, I'm just seeking for the good starting point. Okay, I guess I closed it well. So now we're starting on 125. Why? You're not on 125. You're way more off. Okay, no. So this one is completely different than the other two. I see the differences here. The, the, the M wheel is a different. It's much more thicker. 
this shape and this part is, is different. The painting is different. This plastic uh, thermal protection is even shorter than other one. And it, it's really flimsy. So here I definitely see some upgrading options. <laughs> uh, brake, it's again good one. So this feel good. Okay. This is, okay, I, I guess this one is good. So what uh, we have to do now, we have to zero out. And look at this. Oh my God. I hope you can see it. Let me put a piece of paper under it and then you will see it. I hope you can see it. But the IP rubber insulation is out from the, the sensor compartment or how it's called, this part. Look at this. So I have to open and I have to rearrange this uh, rubber uh, thingy here. Look at this. I hope you can see. Yeah? So definitely there is some issue with the quality control. So right out from the box, with this one I feel like nee -e -e. So now it's showing me 125 and 66 uh, micron. So now if you are zeroing out, boom. This is our new zero. May you noticed but this micrometer is different from the other ones. So let me break it. This one has a ratchet, but the big barrel also has a ratchet, which is a really nice touch, but not in reverse, yeah? of course. So here in this case, the whole barrel and this uh, small peanut part is, is do the ratcheting, not like this one. So. Uh, definitely the big boy is from different factory or maybe different uh, product line or maybe different age or they have in a stock uh, 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 from the previous model so they are selling as a part of this set so definitely this set is not a real set so looks like the big boys a big boys are coming uh, from the same family, okay? There is other differences, okay? So look, have a look on the neck here, okay? So this neck here is really uh, sharp and um, the angle here is different. The material, the color is different and the anvil is also different. So this one has a much more bigger anvil, like this one. And um, you see the the ports, so this one is missing the data, data port. This one has the data port, yeah? So probably this is the oldest model. Uh, so anyway, now uh, you can get uh, this set for <laughs> for nothing, like a price of, of one uh, Mitu Toyo micrometer. So definitely, please go and check out uh, the websites. I think uh, it's, a, it's a very nice uh, company. They even supporting the Formula one huh? so uh, definitely they are not a small uh, company and i hope you will find something which is uh, uh, fit uh, uh, to you so i hope you guys enjoyed see you next time bye